foot handle included. Its four-cylinder Mazda engine runs on regular gas. In the movie Radio Flyer, two brothers turned their wagon into an airplane. In real life, at least a handful of fans have built their own Radio Flyer cars. Just riding in a Radio Flyer wagon makes me feel younger. Judy was even invited to drive her flyer around the Charlotte Motor Speedway. You made that? Yeah. All right. I've laughed and said you can't be in the witness protection program and drive the car. If you're craving attention, hitch your wagon to this star. <laughs> Jeannie Mo, CNN, New York. I find it hard to believe that the handle is allowed on the road. That is, that's insane, but also amazing. Well, coming up on Good Morning Northwest, a local hotspot well known for its good eats of all varieties in the Tri-Cities announces a new location. And fire agencies battle a large fire that destroys a home in Hermiston. At least one pet did not survive. And the Yakima police chief is taking off the badge why he says he's retiring from the force. Plus, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica DeLal. The time is 6 a.m. on Thursday, May 9th. We'll check in now on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, it's cold right now, but it's going to get very warm later. What else are we seeing? It is going, yeah, it is going to get warm, Jessica. Our average high this time of year, 75 degrees. We're going to be a good 5 to 8 degrees above that and much warmer compared to yesterday. So if you like the warm weather, I think you're going to like the forecast for today and going into the weekend. Lots of sunshine out of our studio camera in Kennewick, so you'll need the sunglasses as you step out the door this morning. And you also need that light jacket because, like Jessica mentioned, it's still chilly out there. This is what we typically see in the early morning hours. We're at 40 in Tri-Cities, 43 Walla Walla, 38 in Hermiston, 39 in Prosser, and 41 in Yakima. But these numbers will jump pretty quickly. In the next hour or so, we should be in the 50s as the kids are getting off and heading to the bus stop. They'll need the light jacket as well. But then look at these temperatures. Recess, lower 70s, upper 70s later on today. It'll be great if you want to take the kids to the park or maybe take them for a bike ride. And a great evening if you want to grill out as temperatures will be hovering in the lower 80s by 5 o'clock and then slowly dropping through the 70s this evening after sunset. We'll see temperatures drop even more down to around 70 degrees. We have 90s in the forecast for the week. Weekend. We'll let you know how hot it gets and how long the 90s stick around, plus your Mother's Day forecast coming up in a bit. Jessica? Thank you, Tiffany. And now to your top morning headlines. Pacific Power reports electricity has been restored to homes in Yakima and Sela after a wildfire yesterday. The fire happened just off I-82 near Harlan Landing just after 2.30 p.m. Fire crews from Sela, Yakima, East Valley, the Yakima Training Center, and Gleed got to the scene where the fire was spreading quickly. About 14,000 people in Yakima, Gleed, and Sela had power outages. The fire burned about 100 acres, and the cause is still under investigation. And it is Wildfire Awareness Month, and while the National Interagency Fire Center is not currently predicting a high risk of significant wildland fires in eastern Washington, one power company is working to lower that risk even more. Avista says it's going to start shutting off the power in certain conditions, like extremely dry and windy weather. Investigators say a tree limb fell on an Avista line during a windstorm back in 2020, sparking the fire that leveled the town of Malden. Avista says they're taking that into consideration as they work to prevent future fires. We've increased our patrols of all of our lines and all of our vegetation and so we're looking at in the high fire risk areas we're getting eyes on that vegetation at least once a year. If a Vista has to turn the power off this summer or fall they plan to have crews go out and inspect power lines to make sure they're not damaged before they turn the electricity back on. Officials say that process could take anywhere from a few hours to several days. And a fire heavily damaged a home in Hermiston, and the family's pet did not make it out in time. Firefighters with Umatilla County Fire District 1 were called to a home on Southwest 9th Street just after 9.30 yesterday morning. 
Firefighters say when they got to the scene, smoke was pouring out from the eaves of the house. Fire crews were able to put the fire out, and after searching the home, they found a dog unresponsive. Despite trying to bring it back, they say the dog died at the scene. Crews from Umatilla Rural Fire Protection District and the Echo Fire Department also responded. Nobody was hurt, and the cause of the fire is under investigation. Authorities in Grant County say a local big box retailer was targeted by a swatting call. Around 12.40 p.m., authorities in and around Grant County and nearby Adams County responded to the Afredo Walmart after reports of an active shooter. The store was evacuated for nearly an hour. Authorities say they got a call from someone saying there was a person shooting at the store, but it ended up being a hoax, which is also known as a swatting call. An investigation into who made the call is underway. Now in a follow up on a story we first brought to you on Monday, the Richland Police Department has released pictures of a suspected car involved in a hit and run that happened Sunday morning. Investigators say the car in these pictures was caught on surveillance video crashing into a person who was crossing Columbia Center Boulevard around 1.30 in the morning. The person was taken to the hospital with serious injuries and a current condition is not yet known. Authorities say the car looks to be black and may be a Toyota Avalon or Lexus and the car has distinctive silver trim around the windows and will have damage to the front and possibly passenger side mirror. And Yakima Police Chief Matt Murray says he's retiring at the end of June. Murray became chief of the Yakima Police Department in 2019 and earlier this year he told Apple Valley News Now that Yakima has seen overall crime decrease since he took office. He says there has been an increase in drug and domestic violence crimes, but attributed that to better enforcement efforts. The interim city manager says they'll start looking soon for an interim police chief, whether that's inside or outside the department. In-house, you know, people would know that person. There's some advantages to it. Uh, however, it kind of shorts staff where we're already short. So we need to consider some of those things, talk to command staff, see what their sense is about things. He says they'll also start looking for a new chief, but won't be making any decisions until they hire a permanent city manager, which will take at least a couple of months. The Summers Hub in Kennewick, also known as The Hub, is planning a second spot. Our very own Monique Ledesma talked to the owner about where he's planning to launch the next location. The second location is going to be located off of Burden Boulevard in the Giza Stadium parking lot, so right in front of the baseball stadium, right adjacent next to the track and it would be, it's perfect for serving all the people that go to the soccer games, baseball games, softball games, track, and the local community surrounding that area with all the houses and um, developments going in. It's gonna be fantastic for everyone. Corbin says when it came to branching out, he knew he wanted to start locally first. So first focus on local and really change the, change the game on where to eat and where to go for food. Corbin also says that with the second location, he's looking to improve from the first. I'm not just trying to do the same thing. I'm always trying to one up my next idea, my last idea. Um, the next hub location should be, a, a, the courtyard should be a little bit bigger. It's going to be a more, more area to congregate and eat. Um, there should be about the same number of food truck spots, about 26 spots. But overall, the aesthetic should be even more comfortable than this one is here in Kennewick. Monique Ledesma reporting, so thank you, Monique. And straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, the Biden administration is set to make an announcement this morning on immigration. What the White House says it's going to do to help solve some of the issues on this hot button issue. Have you heard about refractive lens exchange? K2 Vision RLE means no glasses, no contacts, and no readers permanently and you'll never develop a cataract. No glasses or readers. K2 Vision RLE. Vegas action is closer than you think. The fun is waiting for you at Knob Hill Casino. Come in and pull up a chair at your choice of blackjack, pie gal, heads up hold'em, or high card flush, and play with the friendliest dealers in town. Join our players club to take your game to the next level and earn rewards for food, bowling, prizes, and cash. There's always a spot for you at Knob Hill Casino, where the locals play. 
For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. When it comes to legal matters, you need someone you can trust. At Morphine Law Firm, we are sincerely grateful for the last five years of trust and support you've given our firm. Your trust and support have been a major driving force behind our mission for justice. We offer free consultations, and we may not always tell you what you want to hear, but we try to steer you in the right direction. We appreciate your continued trust and confidence in Morphine Law Firm. It's a sit, sleep, and relax sale at Walker's Furniture as they kick off their Memorial Day savings early. Everything you can sit down on, fall asleep on, or recline back in comfort on is on sale with even bigger savings up to 70% off clearance items. Take advantage of early Memorial Day savings, plus special five years financing is available with no money down, making it the perfect time to kick back, relax, and save. This week at Walker's. Stop thinking, let things happen, and be the ball. Better yet, see the ball with K2 Vision RLE. K2 Vision RLE. No readers, glasses, contacts, or cataracts. ET and Extra, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Extra, extra. Welcome back. Looking ahead today, the Biden administration is expected to unveil a way to tighten the U.S. immigration system. It wants a rule change to help officials quickly deny the asylum claims of ineligible migrants. Amy Kiley reports the president is under growing pressure to address the situation at the southern border. The Biden administration is pursuing changes to the U.S. asylum seeking process. I know the administration is looking at what they can do administratively. An immigration rule change will soon enter a public comment period, sources say. Its goal is to let immigration officials quickly deny asylum claims from migrants who are ineligible for the protection. That's not a major overhaul, but it is a tightening of existing immigration policies. I'm not an advisor to the president, but if I were, I'd say you ought to do something about this to the maximum extent of your ability. President Joe Biden is under pressure to take executive action on border security. Some moderate Democrats are now joining Republicans with that request. There must be more this administration can do, not just blame Congress for not passing legislation. Leaders from both parties say they do want to pass legislation. They just can't seem to agree on what. House Republicans want a bill that meets strict demands. Democrats want the House to take up a sweeping bipartisan immigration bill that already passed in the Senate. The border is still a top issue to Americans, whether you live on the border or in the Northeast or in the Mountain West. And so we are committed to fixing this problem. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. Again, that announcement is expected to come today, so watch for that on AppleValleyNewsNow.com. And the Miss USA pageant will name a new Miss Teen USA after the winner stepped down yesterday. In a social media post, Uma Sofia, Uma Sofia Srivastava said her personal values no longer fully align with the direction of the organization. Srivastava's resignation comes days after Miss USA Noelia Voigt resigned, citing mental health. And fans are wondering if Voigt has a non-disclosure agreement. They've been pointing out the first letter of the first 11 sentences in her statement, which spells out, I am silenced. The organization's social media director resigned last week, saying she disavows workplace bullying and toxicity. The pageant says the well-being of its title holders is its top priority and it supports their decisions. And up next on Good Morning Northwest, Another round of deadly storms across the country, with the latest on the storms in Tennessee and North Carolina. Locally though, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has what your weather is going to look like today in that first alert full forecast. Don't go anywhere, we will be right back with that.
You're gonna need a new bumper. Did you say burger? Guac, cheese, Santa Fe burger sauce, burger, jalapeno pepper, cheese, burger, cheese, burger, spicy cheese, bacon. Guac, cheese, bacon. Big burger! Big burger! Indulge in Legends Casino Seafood Buffet Experience. Discover a feast of premium crab legs, succulent shrimp, and an array of delectable ocean-inspired dishes. Elevate your evenings with Legends Seafood Buffet every Thursday and Saturday starting at 4 p.m. Is this the Sunset Hotel? Ma'am, you've dialed 911. I would like to book a room. Take it, you're not able to speak freely. Do they have a room or don't they? Be advised, abduction in progress. No! It's Ford SUV season. Time to get out there and take on adventure in a whole new way. Start with great offers on Ford Escape, Explorer, Mustang Mach-E, and Expedition. And experience Ford Blue Cruise hands-free highway driving. Available on select vehicles. It's Ford SUV season. Let's get going. Get 0% APR for 72 months and 3,000 flex by cash on an Escape or up to 3,000 cash on a Mustang Mach-E. Only at your local Ford dealer. Floor scuffs, tears, and nasty scratches. Forget them for good with Ruby Sliders, the chair leg covers that stretch to fit most chairs and make floor marks a thing of the past. Slide it here, slide it there, slide it anywhere. Just slip them on and keep your floors looking like new. They fit any size or shape furniture leg and glide effortlessly. Forget flimsy felt pads and caps that don't fit. Just stretch it on and slide it. Call or click now to get Ruby Sliders for as low as 99 cents with free shipping. The El Diablo Burger is back at Carl's Jr. Habanero, jalapeno poppers, bacon. Give in to your devilish desires. You don't have to tell me twice. I figured El Diablo is back for eternity. Only at Carl's Jr. Big Burger! Get Burger! Don't miss Mother's Day Spring Fair at Cascade Garden from 10 to 4 p.m. With live music, local artisans, flower baskets for sale, gourmet food, wine, and mimosas. All proceeds benefiting the Voices for Children Foundation, which supports Yakima foster children. Your mom definitely expresses her affection through food. I mean, when I make something, I make it with resentment. Next live, Atlas star Simu Liu, plus Elspeth's Carrie Preston. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Visit Cougar Bay Preserve on Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6 Tuesday. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. Welcome back and happy Thursday, everyone. I'm sure you all remember last weekend, the weather we saw. Remember, we saw record rainfall across many locations on Sunday. It was a wet, it was a cool weekend with highs in the 50s and 60s. Well, this weekend, what a difference. We're expecting highs in the 80s and 90s with plenty of sunshine. So quite the opposite expected in just one week's time. And you may be thinking, do we typically see our first 90 degree day this early? And the answer is yes, for the most part. In Tri-Cities, the average date of our first 90 degree day, May 21st, so we'll be close enough to that. Hermiston, May 24th, Yakima and Pendleton toward the end of the month. So we should hit it a little bit ahead of schedule this year and walla walla i think we'll stay in the 80s i don't think we'll hit 90 but the average date of our first 90 degree day in walla walla is june 2nd a little bit later there lots of sunshine out there out of our studio camera in kennewick no 90s expected today but we are going to be much warmer compared to yesterday afternoon it's chilly though to start off the morning it's 39 now in prosser 38 in hermiston we're at 40 degrees in the Tri-Cities, 43 Walla Walla, 41 in Yakima, and 41 degrees in Toppenish. Winds are going to stay light today. That's all courtesy of this ridge of high pressure, which is going to build in from the south and west. So our warm-up really begins today. And that area of high pressure promoting sinking air, which means that we'll see plenty of sunshine to go around today, tomorrow, and into the weekend. Tomorrow, the warming trend continues as that ridge of high pressure strengthens. And then with that high overhead on Saturday, that'll be our hottest day 
of the next seven. So today, sunny and warmer than yesterday. Yesterday, we only topped out in the 60s near 70. Today, a good 10 and 12 degrees warmer, 82 in Tri-Cities, 80 degrees in Yakima, 80 Toppenish. We'll keep it in the mid and upper 70s along the foothills of the Blues, but that's a big improvement from the 60s yesterday. Tonight, mainly clear, not as chilly or not as cold as it has been. 48 in Tri-Cities tomorrow morning, 47 Walla Walla, 46 in Pendleton and 47 degrees in Yakima. Toppenish should drop to 49 degrees. Tomorrow is even warmer as the warm-up continues. 86 Tri-Cities, 84 in Prosser, 85 in Yakima, 83 in Walla Walla. So you will need that AC to be working in your car and in your home as we head into the next couple of days. Your Mother's Day forecast, if you want to take mom out to eat, you may want to sit indoors. Rethink that outdoor patio if you don't like the heat. Tri-Cities, highs around 90 on Mother's Day, 87 in Yakima, lots of sun, and 85 degrees in Walla Walla. So your seven-day forecast showing that the hottest days will be Saturday and Sunday this upcoming weekend, and then we'll see a slight cooling trend thanks to that high breaking down a bit. We're back in the 80s by early next week, but that's still above average. 80 today in Yakima, 85 tomorrow, 90 on Saturday, 87 on Mother's Day. And look at those lows in the morning, only dropping into the 50s. 78 today in Walla Walla, but you'll be in the 80s starting tomorrow. Mid and upper 80s, we'll call that warm this weekend, and then back in the 70s next week. 81 in Hermiston today, 85 on Friday, 90 on Saturday, close to 90 on Mother's Day, and then that slight cooling trend as we drop into the 70s and 80s as we head into early next week. Jessica? Thank you, Tiffany, and the weather here is looking great, but not so much across the country. New this morning, a new round of deadly storms reported tornadoes touching down in the U.S. for the 14th consecutive day. Brandon Alley says at least three people have been killed across Tennessee and North Carolina. This morning, the days-long severe weather outbreak has left a trail of destruction across yet another region of the U.S. Violent tornado! Violent tornado! Multiple tornadoes reported in Tennessee last night, killing at least one person in Maury County. Video from above reveals the power of the storm. Weather radar indicates the tornado lifted debris 20,000 feet into the air, trapping people in damaged homes. North of Knoxville, the sheriff in Claiborne County says a man was killed when his car was hit by a falling tree. A tornado also hitting communities around Clarksville. In Arkansas, this EF2 twister was caught on camera in Hot Springs. 13 tornadoes were spotted in seven states yesterday alone, marking the 14th consecutive day that a twister has touched down in the U.S. A state of emergency also declared in Gaston County, North Carolina last night, where a powerful storm took down highway signs and power lines. One person was killed by a falling tree. Well, if you go by Sims Park, uh, the winds were so strong that it blew the wall down. So there's a lot that's happened here in Gaston County. They were catastrophic. Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York. Again, the severe weather is not over yet. The highest risk for tornadoes today will be in Alabama and Georgia. And when we return on Good Morning Northwest, we take a look at your top political headlines, what the newest poll says about the race for the White House. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Life's better when you're under the American Family Insurance roof, because when you feel totally protected, your family's free to pursue their dreams. She's got a great swing. American Family Insurance, get a quote and find an agent at amfam.com. If you'd like to improve your sleep on a new Serta or Beautyrest mattress, then you're going to love the Scent Sleep and Relax Sale at Walker's Furniture, where the Memorial Day savings are starting early with big discounts on Beautyrest, Serta, and over 40 more styles of the best name brand mattresses. Plus, special five years financing is available with no money down, so you can improve your sleep today and pay over time. Plus, get up to $300 of additional free furniture with select sets sold this week at Walker's. It's time to save big at Broadmoor RV Superstore in Pasco. The Forest River Adventure Fest Sale, May 17th through the 19th. Get a new Forest River Salem, was $24,000, now just $16,990. A new 2024 R-Pod Classic, sale priced as low as $21,990. How about a new 27-foot Coachman Freelander, sale priced at just $89,990. The Forest River Adventure Fest Sale, May 17th through the 19th at Broadmoor RV in Pasco. From Apple Valley News Now, this is Medically Speaking. The tummy health pays me to do the in-home 
I guess nursing or the things I do to help out, so we don't need a nurse. Meds, cooking, cleaning, getting them to doctor's appointments, picking up prescriptions, whatever else needs to be done. So at least once a month or whenever I need her, Sarah or whatever nurse is available comes to our house. If I have a worry that I'm not sure if he needs to go to the doctor, she comes and advises me and does an assessment and tells me if there's anything I need to do different or I don't know that I could do this without him. So we'll definitely evaluate their past employment. As a registered nurse myself, I'll look through their medical records and I'll look to see maybe what medical conditions they have and we'll be very upfront with them, honest about whether they do have a claim that could warrant benefits or not. Life's better when you're under the American Family Insurance roof because when you feel totally protected, your family's free to pursue their dreams. She's got a great swing. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. Hello there. Watch live with Kelly and Mark. Weekday mornings at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back in political news. New polls show Biden narrowly leading GOP rival Donald Trump. This as the president tries to draw sharp contrast between him and his predecessors. And Wynn says this comes as former President Trump spends another day in court. President Biden taking a victory lap in the swing state of Wisconsin, touting a new $3.3 billion Microsoft AI data center in Racine. It's going to be transformative, not here, just here, but worldwide. This new project expected to create thousands of new construction and professional jobs. It's the same spot his predecessor, Donald Trump, had vowed and failed to bring a $10 billion investment by electronics manufacturer Foxconn. They wasted hundreds of millions of dollars, of your state and local tax dollars, to promise a project that never happened. Foxconn turned out to be just that, a con. The president seeking to draw a sharp economic split screen between him and Trump, telling CNN. When I started this administration, people were saying there's going to be a collapse in the economy. We have the strongest economy in the world. Former President Trump's campaign snapping back, saying there is rich irony in Joe Biden's claiming someone else wastes Americans' tax dollars. Biden's feeble attack is almost as weak as his attempts to walk. This as Trump took to social media to weigh in on GOP House infighting, calling on Republicans not to support Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene's motion to oust Speaker Mike Johnson from his post. Trump warning about the party appearing divided, saying this is not the time. Also on the campaign trail, Vice President Harris, who in a unified message with Biden, continues to slam Trump on abortion bans following the fall of Roe. We see the laws being passed. Most recently, you've heard him say and talk about the fact that he is proud. And former President Trump is back in court today for his hush money trial in New York. Adult film star Stormy Daniels is expected to take the stand again for another day of testimony. Also, Mr. Trump's youngest son, Barron, has been chosen at an, as an at-large delegate for Florida at the Republican National Convention. The 18-year-old joined several other family members, Donald Trump Jr., Eric Trump, and Tiffany Trump, who were also selected. The Republican National Committee will hold its convention in Milwaukee in July, and the former president, the GOP presumptive nominee, says he will likely announce his running mate around that time. Coming up on Good Morning Northwest, another big announcement out of the Tri-Cities Airport, where American Airlines just opened up a direct flight. And it's the groundbreaking for a much anticipated aquatic park in Yakima. Emily Goodell has that story next. You're gonna need a new bumper. Did you say burger, guac, cheese? Santa Fe burger sauce, burger, jalapeno pepper, cheese, burger, cheese, burger, spicy cheese, man. Guac, cheese, bacon. Big burger! Get burger. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $1,950 off on a new Dykin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Who has the deals? Furniture Row! Who has the deals? Furniture Row! 
This Memorial Day, we've been training. Prepping for savings so big, they're getting backed in by the truckload. The more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks for every thousand you spend. Check out doorbusters while they last. And financing? We're talking six years, no interest. But I want to know, do you have the guts to save like never before? The Memorial Day Super Sale, only at Furniture Row. You work hard for your money, and now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid. With the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. You rip and tear your old statements and bills, but thieves use this information to steal your identity. Don't be a victim. Get the ID Police, the new ink roller that encrypts all your old documents. So before you throw it out, just roll it on and your information is gone, both on the front and through the back. Even if the paper is held up to the light, even your medical information is safe with the ID Police. So block it out before you throw it out. Order now and get your ID police for as low as $9.99 and get free shipping too. This offer is not available on Amazon. So call or click now to get your ID police for as low as $9.99 with free shipping. Order now. Call 1-800-268-7157. That's 1-800-268-7157 or visit at idpolice.com. So call 1-800-268-7157 now. Next DT, welcome to the Eras Tour. Taylor Swift back on stage in Paris. Magical things could happen. Yeah. Plus, Brooke Shields is the mother of the bride. Next DT. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. The El Diablo Burger is back at Carl's Jr. Habanero, jalapeno poppers, bacon. Give in to your devilish desires. You don't have to tell me twice. I figured El Diablo is back for eternity. Only at Carl's Jr. Big Burger! Good Burger. This newscast, sponsored by Mariano Morales Law. Right now in Good Morning Northwest, our very own Emily Goodell brings us the exciting groundbreaking of a new aquatic water park in Yakima. She also has why the project still needs some help. And the Tri-Cities Airport has a new direct flight by way of American Airlines where you can directly go to get away for vacay. And we talk with the head of the Kennewick Irrigation District, who's new on the job. We have what he's working on at the district. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Jalal. The time is 6.30 on Thursday, May 9th. We'll check in now on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, it's a little chilly still in the mornings, but I hear that we're getting some 80s, maybe 90s, maybe not yet. What can you tell us? <laughs> Yes, 80s for sure today across many spots and then 90s for some of us this upcoming weekend. So we have some early season heat arriving and we'll talk more about that coming up in a little bit. So if you like the warm weather, well, this is your forecast going forward. We're taking a live look out of our studio camera in Kennewick. Wall to wall sunshine out there, not a cloud in the sky. And that's the way it's going to stay today. So grab the shades. Also grab the jackets. It's still cool out there. I should say chilly because we're down to 40 in Tri-Cities, 43 in Walla Walla, 38 in Hermiston, 41 at Hanford, and 41 degrees in Yakima, Ellensburg, down into the 30s. So here's what to expect in Tri-Cities today. If you want to take lunch outside or maybe walk to go get your lunch downtown, 73 degrees, lots of sunshine, 82 for your high temperature. Keep in mind our average high, 75. So well above the average today. In Yakima, starting off in the 50s at 8 o'clock, lower 70s around noon, highs around 80 degrees at 5 o'clock, and we don't have to deal with the windy conditions today, so that is nice. In Walla Walla, 50s this morning at 8 o'clock, 67 at noon, and rising into the upper 70s by 5 o'clock, so much warmer than those 60s that we saw yesterday. The warm-up continues. We'll talk about some early season heat safety tips, and we'll have your Mother's Day forecast coming up in a bit. Jessica? Thank you, Tiffany. And the Yakima community celebrated a historic moment yesterday at the groundbreaking for the long-awaited Aquatic Center at Martin Luther King Jr. Park. It's a project everyone is excited about, but our Emily Goodell tells us for the people who have fought so hard to be heard, it's so much more than just a pool. 
The new pool is being built right in the heart of the East Yakima community. It's a community that's been fighting for the stream for more than 15 years. East Yakima resident Esther Huey remembers living in Arkansas at seven years old, watching white children swim and being told by her mother she couldn't join them. And we cried because we couldn't, because of the color of our skin. But my mother promised me that sis, just keep living. One day, you're going to swim. It's why she fought so hard for so many years to hold the city of Yakima to its promise, to bring back a pool to East Yakima, a lower income area of the city with a higher population of people of color. And so you, you can understand what the meaning is for me. <laughs> Getting not just a pool, but a more than $11 million aquatic center, supported entirely by donations from the community, nonprofits, businesses, and government agencies. Unprecedented in my career to be able to build a swimming pool without raising anybody's taxes. That is unbelievable for a municipality. Not just a pool, but a way to keep kids off the streets, giving them a safe place to play in their own neighborhood, opening in the summer of 2025. Thank you for ha having my dream come true. This is such an honor um, to have this pool come alive and it's all because of everyone here. Parks officials tell me they're still $400,000 short of their original goal. And with things costing more than expected, they've raised the amount needed to complete this project to $500,000 that they're looking for in donations. Reporting in Yakima, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Thank you, Emily. And in Pasco, American Airlines is expanding at Tri-Cities Airport just a few months after their first flight from Pasco. Starting September 5th, American will offer two daily flights to and from Phoenix. Flights will leave Pasco at 5.25 a.m. and 3 p.m. Right now, there's a lot of issues going on with um, crew shortages and, and aircraft shortages. So um, normally when they come in, they come in with more than one flight, but they came in, they wanted to be here, and I was confident we would get second flight sooner rather than later, and it was just, it just had to play out. And, and it's going to be a busy year for the Tri-Cities Airport. Avello Airlines just added flights to Sonoma Wine Country this month, and Alaska Airlines is adding flights to L.A. starting in October. And the Kennewick Irrigation District has a new executive director, and with summer coming up, we're wondering if a mandatory watering schedule will be in effect for residents. Shane Leonard is leading the charge for KID, and Leonard says a voluntary watering schedule for residents using KID went into effect back in March. Leonard says during low water years, canals carry less water, so if everyone's waters, uh, if everybody waters their lawns in the morning, it creates a surge in demand that can quickly deplete canal levels. This drop in pressure can lead to people watering for longer periods to compensate. At this point, unfortunately, I do. Um, we have had snow and rain in the reservoir systems. Unfortunately, what's occurred this year, as has occurred to similar years, is we got snow, but then it got warm pretty quick. But in essence, the water runs off much quicker. Um, it fills the reservoir, and then that's it. There's no more water coming into the system. And Leonard comes to the Tri-Cities from Arizona and has decades of experience in dealing with drought conditions. In your business news, the chair of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, Martin Gruenberg, is facing calls from lawmakers to resign. This after a scathing 234-page report was released Tuesday about pervasive sexual harassment, discrimination, and bullying at the agency. The report commissioned by the FDIC confirmed the findings of a November Wall Street Journal investigation, which revealed a long-standing problematic culture and the report was based on interviews with more than 500 employees. And the FDA reports more than 200 diabetics were injured by a malfunctioning insulin pump. The problem was actually with the software that connects the T-Slim insulin pump to iPhones, and that software is called T-Connect. A glitch in the code caused the app to crash and relaunch, which can also drain the pump's battery sooner than expected. On March 26th, Tandem Diabetes Care told affected owners to update their mobile apps to an updated version that corrects the issue. 
About 85,000 people were running the problematic software at that time. The FDA is now reporting the technical issue led to 224 injuries. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, after years of remodeling, it's a brand new place to experience our history. Our very own Riley Fitzgerald takes us on a blast to the past as a historic center is set to reopen this month after being closed for more than three years. ET and Extra, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Extra, extra. Thinking I should bring back my 100% all-white meat popcorn chicken combos for $6.99? You're in luck. I did. If you weren't thinking that, I bet you are now. My popcorn chicken combos are only $6.99. Get them sauced and loaded for just a buck more. Welcome to Jack in the Box. When it comes to remodeling your bath, there's fact and there's fiction. Fiction. Some bath remodels just cover up water damage. Fact. Bath Fitter inspects and cleans your current tub area, and we make any necessary repairs before installing our product for a watertight fit. Bath Fitter installations are built to last with a lifetime warranty to fit your expectations. Get the bath that fits you. Bath Fitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. Something is weird. Look around. All possible Triple Play customers are perfectly represented right now. Wait, really? There's the fan. The group of adult friends, kids on their school trip. And the first date couple, and the grandparents with their grandkids. It's just too perfect. I knew it. They're shooting a commercial. I thought we were better than that. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including go-karts, mini golf, and many more. All attached to a cozy hotel. We just thought... If it's hidden, you might get bitten. Ricky Lake. When she was told that using Ozempic was her only option to lose weight, what did she do next that has her healthier, happier, and looking like this? This morning, Ricky's here to share her secrets of how she did it without Ozempic on Good Morning America. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus, get zero down and 0% APR for 84 months or up to $2,800 off select Kubota tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Visit us at our new urban wine bar in historic downtown Kennewick. Choose from a variety of wines and food from our expanded menu. Enjoy time with friends old and new. After hours with riverfront views from our shaded patio, we are Murray Gaston Wine Bar. Get two of my egg and cheese biscuits with a freshly cracked egg any time of the day for just four bucks. Yep, that's two biscuits for just four bucks. Two for four bucks. Two for four. I said it four times, you know, because you can get two biscuits for four bucks. Welcome to Jack in the Box. First Alert Weather is our promise, our commitment to you, to keep you and your family safe. No matter where you live in our part of the Northwest, count on Stacy Lee and Apple Valley News Now First Alert Weather. And we're always on your side. Next extra, Taylor takes Paris. Swifty's wildest dreams come true as her Eras tour finally hits Europe. And is she planning a date night with Travis in the city of love? Next extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. In Baker City, Oregon, the National Historic Oregon Trail Interpretive Center is opening back up after years of being closed for renovations. Good Morning Northwest Riley Fitzgerald brings us right to the top of Flagstaff Hill, where soon the center will be back up and open to the public. There have been three years of renovations. The National Historic Oregon Trail Interpretive Center may look different than you remember. Brand new is going to be the, the roof, the windows, and the doors, right? The unsexy home ownership, that's what I say. Um, we want to take care of the facility so everything inside can be protected. Heading into the National Historic Oregon Trail Interpretive Center, it's a blast into the past. As soon as you walk down this gallery, you are getting a snapshot of what the newcomers into Oregon, as well as the Native American tribes, would have seen in the 1840s and the 1860s where this is the terrain, this is what you're going through. And we've been able to actually preserve that here on site where you're still getting that dynamic view 
of our wonderful Alcorn Range, which is part of the Blue Mountains. When they got to this point, when they came up Flagstaff Hill with the wagons, it would have been in August or September. They would have been incredibly footsore. They would have been ill. They would have, and they got up here and they saw the Blue Mountains. And they'd been told that when they saw the Blue Mountains, they were in Oregon. And this is the point where I think hope started for those early pioneers. And this museum just beautifully weaves you through that sort of or from the Oregon perspective. Specifically towards the end we get to the settlement of Oregon Territory and we get to talk about Baker history and, and what it means for us to be here in Baker County. Behind the scenes work in 2020 at the Interpretive Center closed the site down for renovations that then bled into COVID. Construction officially started in March 2022 the closure caused a notable effect on the Baker community, leaving many eager for the National Historic Oregon Trail Interpretive Center to open its doors back up. It was like everybody was sort of like, oh, it'll be fine. It'll be okay, right? And then all of a sudden, I hate to say our cash registers down on Main Street kind of got a little quiet, right? And then it was like the number of small business owners that would say, you know, man, I didn't realize how much we'd miss the Interpretive Center until it's closed. And, you know, we're projecting about 29,000 people are going to come to Baker City during about six weeks this summer. And so um, we that that what it does to the local economy is pretty profound. Now that the center, showcasing the gateway into Oregon from the 1800s, is just about open, the staff is ready to bring tourism back into the community and bring people back onto the Oregon Trail. Staff is planning for the Interpretive Center to open back up on Friday, May 24th. Reporting in Baker City, Riley Fitzgerald, Apple Valley News Now. Thank you, Riley. And coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, Meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your first alert full forecast. She'll let you know if we'll be hitting the 80s or 90s today. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Life can be hard. <coughs> With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. When you need legal help, trust Quantum Legal. We're here for you in times of trouble, whether you need assistance with criminal defense, personal injury, or have been injured on the job. Law is a complicated matter. Our team of experts will fight for you and help you find the best solution for your situation. Don't let life's challenges get the best of you. We're here to help. Call us today at 509-783-5551 or visit our website at quantumlegal.com. How you sleep sets your entire life in motion. So live your best life by getting your best sleep on a Doctor's Choice mattress. The perfect combination of support and comfort. In fact, I've been recommending it to my patients for over 20 years. Visit us in store or online and discover all the benefits of Doctor's Choice only at Denver Mattress. Whether you're looking for your next house plant, getting those spring flowers in the ground, or planting your dream garden landscape, Queensgate Gardens is the place to go. Queensgate Gardens in Richland. Let's grow together. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. Did I read this? Did I get eggs? Where are my keys? Memory and thinking issues keep piling up? It may be due to a buildup of amyloid plaques in the brain. Visit morethannormalaging.com. I have a delivery for Athena. You know any Athena? I don't know any Athena. Twist on it? Yeah. Cream on the right, we'll let him in. Oh, welcome to Troy. Hey. Open the game. Thank you. No matter what roads lead you home, McCurley Mazda is about to make your journey even better. Whether it's cruising riverside highways, winding vineyard trails, or anywhere else your travels take you, now is the perfect time to upgrade your way home. 
Visit McCurley in the Pasco Autoplex today for this special offer. Find your way home in a new 2024 Mazda CX-5 with 0% financing up to 60 months from McCurley Mazda. Visit Cougar Bay Preserve on Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6 Tuesday. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. I'm sure you all remember last weekend when we saw record rainfall across many of the big cities in our area and temperatures were in the 50s and 60s. It was a cool, it was a soggy weekend. Well, what a difference we're expecting this weekend when high temperatures will likely top out in the 80s and even 90s with plenty of sunshine. So feeling more summer-like as we head into the second weekend in May. We have lots of sunshine to go around out of our studio camera in Kennewick this morning and temperatures are on the chilly side, but they will rise pretty quickly. We're at 40 right now in Tri-Cities, 38 in Hermiston, 43 in Walla Walla, 41 in Yakima, still in the 30s in Ellensburg, but that sunshine is gonna help warm us up nicely. Our winds right now out of the north and east, they're fairly light between three and about eight miles per hour, and they'll stay on the lighter side today. So no more windy conditions, at least today into the weekend. Here's the weather pattern. Our warm up begins today as this ridge of high pressure will start to build in from the south and west. Remember high pressure, the blue H promotes sinking air. That's why we will see plenty of sunshine today. Warming trend continues tomorrow as the high strengthens. It gets a little bit closer to us and the hottest day of the week will be on Saturday with that area of high pressure directly overhead. So high temperatures today in the lower 80s for many of us. Keep in mind, we were only in the upper 60s to near 70 yesterday, so it will be significantly warmer today. 82 in the Tri-Cities, 80 Moses Lake, 78 Walla Walla, 74 in Pendleton, 81 Hermiston, and 80 degrees in Yakima. Tonight, it's not going to be quite as chilly as it has been. We'll only drop into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees by early Friday morning. Friday afternoon, even warmer with highs in the middle 80s for a lot of us. 86 Tri-Cities, 84 in Prosser, 85 in Yakima, 85 Hermiston, and finally the Foothills of the Blues making it into the 80s and joining the party there. We do have a couple of great opportunities to spot the ISS because the weather will cooperate. The next good opportunity will be tomorrow night at 1019. So if you're up, you may want to step outside. The duration of the pass will last seven minutes, which is a pretty long time. Maximum height in the sky will be 75 degrees. Keep in mind, straight up is 90. So it'll be pretty high up in the sky and it'll travel from the southwest sky over to the east northeast sky. We continue to warm this weekend. In fact, the weekend forecast is looking like the warmest days out of the next seven. 92 on Saturday in the Tri-Cities, highs around 90 on Mother's Day. So keep in mind, if you planned on going to a restaurant and eating outside, you may wanna opt for an indoor table instead if you don't like the heat. And here's some early season heat safety tips. You wanna wear that sunscreen, take it back out of the closet. You need to reapply every two hours. Stay hydrated, of course, drink plenty of water. Keep in mind this time of year, the snow melt, or the snow pack rather, will continue to melt. That's gonna cause the area rivers to flow pretty fast and the water temperature of the rivers still dangerously cold. So stay away from the rivers this time of year and keep an extra eye on young children and the elderly. Your seven day forecast showing that once we get beyond the weekend, we'll see a slight cooling trend, but we're still above average because that area of high pressure starts to break down. 84 on Monday, 82 Tuesday, 80 on Wednesday, 80 today in Yakima, 85 Friday. We're looking at 90 on Saturday. We'll drop it into the upper 80s on Mother's Day. Walla Walla, 70s today, but then you're back in the 80s tomorrow and a warm weekend, but not too terribly hot. Mid and upper 80s back in the 70s next week. Hermiston, 81, 85 on Friday, 90 on Saturday, and 89 on Mother's Day. Jessica? Thank you, Tiffany. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the morning sprint. But first, here's a look at what's ahead on Good Morning America. In this morning's first look, fed up over rising fast food prices. When did McDonald's get so expensive? Some consumers, like Colleen Pipes of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, are saying enough is enough. I joked that this was fine dining now because I might as well go at a sit-down restaurant and be served if I'm going to pay those type of prices. Fast food prices in March were 33% higher than 2019 levels, according to the Labor Department, while grocery prices were up 26%. And it's influencing behavior. Companies like Starbucks and McDonald's reporting a downturn in traffic 
at Starbucks, a 7% drop in transactions. You know, I don't think I'm ever going to go to Starbucks again. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll have more on how customers are fighting back, both in restaurants and in the grocery aisles. With your GMA First Look, I'm Becky Worley, ABC News, Oakland, California. When your child has moderate to severe eczema, it's okay for them to show off. Show off their clearer skin and noticeably less itch with Dupixent. Because children six months and older with eczema have plenty of reasons to show off their skin. With Dupixent, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, they can stay ahead of their eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your child's skin from within. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your child's eczema specialist about Dupixent. Now, the morning sprint. Time right now at 6.53. Let's take a look at your top headlines. Starting off, Pacific Power reports electricity has been restored to homes in Yakima and Sela after a wildfire yesterday. The fire happened off I-82 near Harlan Landing just after 2.30 p.m. Fire crews say the fire spread quickly. About 14,000 people in Yakima, Gleed, and Sela had power outages, and the fire burned about 100 acres. The cause is under investigation. Firefighters with the Umatilla County Fire District 1 were called to a home on Southwest 9th Street yesterday morning. Fire crews were able to put out the fire with the help of nearby agencies. Nobody was hurt, but a dog did die, and the cause of the fire is under investigation. Authorities in Grant County say a local big box retailer was targeted by a swatting call. Around 12.40 p.m. yesterday, authorities in and around Grant County and nearby Adams County responded to the Afreda Walmart after reports of an active shooter. It ended up being a hoax, also known as a swatting call. An investigation into who made the call is underway. The Richland Police Department has released pictures of a suspected car involved in a hit and run that happened Sunday morning. Investigators say the car in these pictures was caught on surveillance video crashing into a person who was crossing Columbia Center Boulevard around 1.30 in the morning. Authorities say the car looks to be black and may be a Toyota Avalon or a Lexus. Yakima Police Chief Matt Murray says he's retiring at the end of June. Murray became Chief Police or Chief of Yakima Police Department in 2019. And earlier this year, he told Apple Valley News Now that Yakima has seen overall crime decrease since he took office. And the interim city manager says they'll start looking soon for an interim police chief, whether that's inside or outside the department. Summer's Hub of Kennewick, often nicknamed the Hub, opened a couple of years ago and as we were coming out of the pandemic, and now it's looking to expand. The owner of the Hub tells us he's preparing to open a second location across the river in Pasco. He's planning a similar setup with food trucks and says there's already a wait list of vendors hoping for a spot. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you have a good start. If you like the warm weather, you're going to like the forecast today and going forward into the weekend. We have lots of sunshine out of our studio camera in Kennewick, and that's the way it's going to look all day long today as high pressure is in control. Now, it is a little bit of a chilly start out there, but we're going to warm up pretty quickly. 40 degrees in Tri-Cities, 43 Walla Walla, 43 at Hanford, and 41 in Yakima. So you'll need the jacket this morning, but not so much. This afternoon, you may want to open up those windows, get in that fresh air, 82 degrees with a light wind out of the north, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear, not quite as cold as we drop to 48 degrees, and tomorrow looks even warmer, 86 degrees. So we have a couple of good evenings if you want to fire up the grill for dinner time. Your seven-day forecast showing that we have 90s in the forecast for the first time this year, this weekend. 92 on Saturday, 90 on Mother's Day, so find something indoors or somewhere indoors to take mom if she doesn't like the heat or take her out for ice cream. 80 degrees in Yakima on Thursday, 85 tomorrow, 90 on Saturday, 87 degrees 
on Sunday. So hopefully your AC is working. 70s today, Walla Walla. We're back in the 80s starting tomorrow. We'll keep it warm this weekend, mid and upper 80s. Hermiston, 81 today, 85 Friday, 90 Saturday, 89 on Mother's Day. And then we'll see a slight cool down, but we stay above average as we head into next week. Jessica, get ready for the heat. It's coming soon. Thank you, Tiffany, and I am so ready for the heat. I'm tired of being cold. Well, thank you again, and thank you for waking up with us and watching Good Morning Northwest. Your local news is back tonight at 5, and you can always find the latest updates on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. Have a great Thursday. We will see you tomorrow.